Hey guys, the Boston Dad here. So I told myself this time last year that if I lose at least 50 pounds, I will shave the beard. However, in the process of having the beard up until now, so many people are saying, keep the beard, we love the beard. So we decided to make a video where we ask folks we know and random folks both online and here in this video as you see, beard or no beard we tallied up all the votes and you're going to find out at the end of this video what happens but you won't want to miss what happens in between it, it is too funny and no more dark colors all the time trying to hide this body 50 pounds and counting here we go all right guys i'm going to ask somebody beard or no beard i'm just going to catch the first person i find all right here's a young man right here how are you Bonjour. Oh, geez, God, he doesn't even speak English. Right? What's that? Bonjour, that's. Uh... Good, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he's speaking French. I can tell by. Uh, yeah, well, I speak English. You obviously don't. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, listen, it's going to be very self explanatory what I'm going to ask you. Uh, I want to just know, just your public opinion beard or no beard? In barbe. Il faut vraiment avoir une barbe. Ouais, okay, ça, he's going bien. like this. I assume that means he wants me to shave, right? No, 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 pas du tout. Okay, how is it that he doesn't understand English, but yet he understood what I said? All right, guys, so listen, he says shave the beard. No, no. Okay, all right, obviously, I don't know what he said. You even tell him the truth. Yeah, all right, all right, keep the beard, keep oui, the beard. Oui, 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 yeah, oui. Uh, I play the Wii. I also play Xbox. All right, listen, you got pizza there. Can I have a slice? No. Okay, what a nice guy. All right, yeah, you keep walking. I'll keep the beard. Take care. All right, guys, look, we found Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> Here he is and here's his car. <laughs> All right, Fred, I got a question for you. This is Freddie. <laughs> Freddie, God bless him from New York. I love him. Retired police officer. So Freddie's seen me without a beard and with a beard. So Fred, let's ask you an honest question. Beard or no beard? Shave. Hey guys, all right, so I'm here at Ma's RV. I'm gonna ask her, beard or no beard? She's my mother, so if anybody's honest with me, it should be her. And uh, just in case you didn't know, every day I'm shuffling, all right? And I hope you're shuffling too. So here we go, let's ask Ma. Hold on. Ma, answer the door. Yeah, how are you? All right, here she is. Oh, there's her little dog. Say hello. Say hi, Lilo. That's Lilo. All right, Ma. Scared him. All right, what happened? I think you scared him with the way you look. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Well, I can always expect a nice compliment from my What's mother. What's wrong with you? You look older than I do. Oh, wonderful. I didn't even ask the question yet, and she's you already knocking me. Go home and shave. All right. Well, I don't even get through my question. All right. So I'm here to ask you. All right. I think you already answered it, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Yeah. Beard or no beard? What do you got to be kidding me? You look like an old buck, Daryl. You look horrible. All right, well, thank you I'm very much. I'm to tell you you're my son. All right, that's lovely. All right, so if I didn't already feel like a million, yeah. I feel like a million well, now. You thank you. Terrible. All right, oh, as you can tell, this yeah, is where I always you. came to get my affirmation, yeah. oh, oh, and this is why I'm so you're secure and confident in life. All right, this is lovely. I'm out of here. I'm sorry I even came here. All right, forget about it. I'm going to order another mother now. All right, Woody, what do you think? Beard or no beard? All right, I'm gonna knock on a random RV door here, but not before I finish my donkey dunks. Mm. Rain's coming. Here in Florida, it rains every two seconds because it's 8,000 degrees. All right, here we go. You ready? Let's knock on this door here. All right, let's give a knock. Let's see who answers. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, hi. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Listen, I'm just going around asking different people what they think, if I should wear a beard or no beard. Uh, what's your motivation for that? Uh, it doesn't matter what my motivation is. Just take a look and see what you think. Well, it's being, it is going to be 100 degrees this week. I suggest you shave it. Okay, I like the way this guy thinks. You must be from New England. Oh, no, no, we're from Pittsburgh. Oh, Steelers fans? You got it. All right, I'm sorry I knocked on this door. See yeah. you later, pal. <laughs> all right, bye-bye now. Bye. Yeah, not funny at all. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, guys, the Boston Dad here again, and I'm here at uh, Walmart, the salon. What's it called? Smart Style. Yeah. So we're Abraham. here. We're here with Abraham. He's right out of the book of Genesis. You gotta <laughs> love it. Okay, and he just did a phenomenal haircut here for Ma. Check it out. There you go. Great job, Abraham. So Abraham is a hairdresser. So we're gonna ask Abraham because who would know better than a hairstylist? Abraham, what do you think? Beard or no beard? 
keep it. Oh, Ooh. Abraham votes for the beard. Now, why is that? Oh, well, because the beard is it's like the spiritual thing that God gave to the man. All right, all right. Abraham votes for the beard. Now, this is going to be a tough one because uh, he's a hairstylist. So, hairstylist of snow. I don't have no beard, but yeah. He could keep his. All right, he won't wear one, but he wants me to. He doesn't grow. Uh, but he looks good. God bless Abraham and the haircut you gave him. Up. All right, here we go. All right, guys, I just got my Dunky Dunks right here. I bought a pecan and I'm gonna approach somebody here in the parking lot and I'm gonna ask him real quick, beard or no beard? Here's a guy right here. Oh, he has a beard. All right, sir, I'm doing a video here from Dunky Dunks and I'm asking people, beard or no beard? Okay, listen, no Espanol, I speak Dunky Dunks. Very here, simple, buddy. Beard or no beard? Bye-bye. Uh, Baba, what? Uh, Baba, black barba, sheep, barba, have you any si. wool? Yes, sir. Me yeah. gusta. Beard or no beard? Me gusta, si. Okay, I don't. Pelo, yeah, tan, yeah, good. Si. Yours is black, mine's tan, gray. Bueno. Now you're showing off. Okay, Rico Suave over here. Well, it's not your video, it's mine. I don't know what he said. Learn, learn English. God bless him. All right, girls, what do you think? Beard or no beard? They say no beard. All right, guys, I'm starting this segment feeling a little perturbed. That's right, I'm using big words like perturbed because today I feel wicked smart. It's Saturday. I'll tell you why I'm perturbed. Look at this right there. And this mic, God bless them. But look at the spelling of that. Bark Park. It's supposed to say Bark Park. That means B-A-H-P-A-H-K. And Mike here is from Manchester, New Hampshire. As you know, out of New England, it's the cleanest place ever. Not one drug in sight. Everybody there is as clean as a whistle. Most beautiful place in New England. Right, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, all right, keep lying, buddy. All right, anyway, so listen, Mike and I got the same hairdo, God bless, all right? But I'm here to ask Mike, I pulled him aside, he had his golf cart over there, and I'm asking Mike, beard or no beard? What do you think, Mike, beard or no beard? Beard. Well, that's an obvious. Definitely. Obvi oh, Minga, definitely. All right, so listen, Mike here is a golf champ, God bless him. He's heading out, what, to Washington? Washington, D.C. That's right, he's heading out to Washington, and Mike is, uh, tell, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, it's through uh, Special Olympics. It's called the uh, Perfect Sense Tournament. It's a pro-am, going up to compete, get to meet some uh, professional golfers, which is going to be cool, never met. Awesome. Um, and tour Washington, D.C., so I'm psyched. Wicked happy. Wicked happy for Wicked you, Mike. Happy. Wicked happy. Wicked happy. And the Special Olympics, God bless, is very proud of Mike. You've been a member for how long? A long time. All right, excellent. Michael, congratulations. Making New England proud, making Manchester, New Hampshire proud. Manchester, we need more men like this right here. All right, guys, Mike says beard. Let's go to our next segment. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Okay, I'm here with O-Town. Boston Sun, Ocean, whatever you want to call them, and Ocean, just in case you weren't sure, I am your father. All right, so I'm going to ask Ocean. Ocean, God love him, is always honest. Ocean, what do you think? Beard or no beard? Beard. Why? Because you look like SpongeBob without your beard because you look really like bear and your face looks <sighs> naked. All right, so without the beard, I'm naked. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there would vote for me to walk nude, walk naked every day, all day. Would you be one of those? No, Absolutely not. not, he said. Definitely not. All right, so without the beard, Ocean says I look like SpongeBob. Oh, hey! I'm here with one of the best trainers here the at the gym. The oh, best. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Look at the him. Best. I love the confidence yeah. on this guy. Oh, yeah. All right, his name is Kyle, but he looks like Scott Stapp from Creed. Tried saying that 10 times in a row. Give me some sugar. I'm going to ask Kyle here, who's Armenian, and his name ends in I-A-N. Oh, yeah. Just a quick note. If it ends in I-A-N, you are Armenian. God bless you. Yeah. Even though, to me, he looks Italian. But anyway, all right, Kyle. So I'm asking people, beard or no beard? What do you think? Uh, I can say beard. You're saying beard? beard. 100%. Well, yeah. I, mean, I don't like the 100%. 100%. What's oh, yeah. that 100%. supposed to mean? All right. Uh, yeah. Why 100%? Why? Uh, I think, um, you know, I think it accentuates your hairstyle. Okay. Uh, and, you know, and it's kind of a, it's like a natural from your um, sideburns, it's got like a natural flow. Oh God. From your beard to your head. All right. Um, Are you a right. trainer or a doctor? But yeah, actually uh, a little bit of both. Yeah, well, I'm getting there. Okay. I'm getting there. Good. So. 
Yeah. All right. Well, I trust your judgment. Kyle says be it, or Scott Stapp from Creed says be it. You want to sing a Creed song for us? Uh, no, no, no. All okay. right. All right, guys. So I'm here with my daughter. We're wrapping up one of the last segments of Beard or No Beard. And we're going to ask the person who really matters in our life, and that is the spouse. And in my case, the wifey, the wife. Oh, and before we go in and ask her, remember, friends don't let friends drink Starbucks. Okay, so let's go. Here we go. Follow me. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. All right, so uh, Soleil and I are wrapping up the segment, Beard or No Beard. And I want to know what you think, honest opinion, Beard or no beard? Ready? Don't tell it to me. Tell it to the camera. Here we go. Well, it depends. Do you want to be my young boo or my older? Ooh. Um, either way, I love you. I loved you when you didn't have the beard. But I couldn't wait until you became salt and pepper. It was more salt than pepper. But either way, I love you. And whatever you choose is fine with me. Okay, guys. The verdict is in. We tallied them all up. The votes have been counted. We put them on two huge pieces of paper. All right, right here, counted them all together. They keep coming in, but this is what we got to date and this is what we're going with, even though they keep coming in. So here we go. It is 159 yays, that means shave the beard. All right, 95 nays, that means keep the beard. Okay, we got 39 other thans, that means fade the beard, do a goatee, mustache. We even got a vote for a chin strap. Now that would look wicked awesome now, wouldn't it? Fabulous. And we even got 14 people that said it's the wife's choice because she's got to live with you and look at you. But as we know, we already got the wife's verdict and heard what she had to say. So it looks like at 159 votes and counting, the yays have won. The beard is about to come off. So here we go. Okay, guys. Officially in the bathroom. Every day I'm shuffling my famous gym shirt. But today... You voted, the beard comes off. Here we go. First thing we do is take it down with the number one. Wow, this baby's thick. Gonna cut that gray right out of my beard. It's getting closer. So now we're gonna whip this thing off. Boom, okay. And we're gonna get to business. We're gonna get really close now. Here you go. Time to foam up at the sides. We're gonna cut the sides first and then we're gonna go from there. Keep it New England, Gillette and Gillette. Wow, this bad boy's barely getting through. Don't you love that tap? Rinse and tap, rinse and tap. I have not done this in about a year and a half. This feels weird, I'm not gonna lie. I love those faces people make when they shave. No. Yeah. Don't you love it? Very soon the goatee will no longer be. Next is the stash. The stash has been lathered up and we're ready to go. Here we go, I already feel younger. Here go those faces again. Okay guys, so here it is, the final reveal. I feel 20 years younger, new face, new body, new look. It's great to be back again. For those of you who voted for the beard and the facial hair, don't worry, it grows wicked fast, just like the hair, and it will grow again. I'll rock it, I'm sure at five o'clock, a full beard, it depends when it gets a lot colder or maybe even sooner, who knows. And you know what, I'm wicked surprised. Let me tell you, this is one of the first times in my life where I've shaved a beard, where I've had it for a long time, and my skin's not wicked blotchy and white in one area and tanned in another, red in another. And I'm telling you, it is because of me getting healthier. I know it is. It's got to be. That's the only difference. But anyway, guys, uh, continue to follow our journey. Follow on Instagram, like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. Thank you for joining us and be it or no be it. It's been wicked fun. Now on to the next chapter and the next 50 pounds to lose. Love you all. Lord, now I find myself reach the end of the road I ask you to help somebody else as they trickle on down the road